Hey guys, welcome back to Shut Up and Learn. This is Kelvin, and I've spent only two hours to achieve the legendary gymnastic move, the Iron Cross. Not really. As you can see, I didn't learn it at all. That's not even me. The machine learns that for me. Let's quickly understand how this whole deepfake things work. Deepfakes use sometimes called a neural network, a kind of AI model, which is a bit like a digital brain. We can then train our brain to achieve what we want. It can make me look just like Taylor Swift or any other character I want to be. Hold on a second. Did I say Taylor Swift? I have this thing where I get older but just a divisor Midnight become my afternoons When my depression works great It's shaped with all the people I consider it in the room Stop it! Get some help! You see me take days, weeks, sometimes even months to master a skew that makes me really hard to update my channel frequently. Then one thing came up to my mind. You've heard of deepfakes, right? Well, guess what? I decided to deepfake myself into some legendary moments. Without spending time of learning and practicing, I can be anyone and perform any stunning skills that I want. From balancing on rings to throwing punches, how about that time I was Tony Ferguson, my favorite That's UFC it. fighter? Ferguson is the UFC interim lightweight champion of the world. Kitchen sink tonight and finally shut the lights out. You know I work out a lot, but did you know I'm also the fastest man in life? And a fair start, a soft pound. Usain Bolt is also out well. Here they come down the track. Usain Bolt sprinting ahead, winning by daylight and setting a world record. The wind is okay. New world record. I may have taken 92 days to achieve a middle split, but it turns out that I don't need that long. Middle split, so we're going to hold it for 45 seconds, and throughout that time, see if you can push your legs even closer to the ground. There's only one more stretch. To generate such a realistic deepfake video, just one AI brain isn't enough. We need to introduce a second AI brain, and we first prepare the original and target videos, then make each frame as a training data. Feed them into the brain through a learning strategy called backpropagation. This brain will learn to bridge the gap between the original video and a target video and let them work together. When we train the first AI, it begins learning the characteristics of both faces and starts generating the deepfake images. Simultaneously, the second AI brain acts as a teacher. It examines whether the generated image is realistic and provides feedback to the first AI brain. Help it refine and improve the deepfake quality. The more these digital brains learn, the better it gets at morphing one video into another. Can't, that can't be the only thing. There need, need to be things that inspire you. Congratulations. The whole system is called GANs, Generative Adversarial Networks. You can Google for more if you're interested in it. Alright, let's do a quick summary. You might be wondering how long did it take for me to defect myself into these iconic moments? Well, the answer is not as much as some of my other challenges. But it did require a bit of tech selfie dedication. I used an open source tool called uh, Deface Lab, which is a pretty handy tool for defaking yourself into some other videos. One quick tip before I go, so uh, if you really want to train your own deepfake model, make sure you have a good GPU because training that deepfake model requires a lot of computation. So make sure that you have a good GPU, otherwise you might spend days or even weeks to train a single deepfake model. Alright, thanks guys for watching, shut up and learn. If you like this video, press the like. If you don't like this video, press the dislike button twice. Feel free to subscribe my channel. See you in the next Shut Up and Learn video. Thank you.